Oh, hello. Welcome back to Awkward Box Authority. I mean, Unbox Authority. Today, I got a surprise in. Opening the box, I'm not sure if we're gonna see what it is yet. We don't even know what we got. Here's a box, guys. You're gonna find out with us. I mean, I... the box is way too big for what it is. So I'm a little confused. I hope it is what I bought. I mean, it's just, I don't, I'm what? just, I don't know what you got. I don't know either. <laughs> oh. Seriously? Why Apple buy... Watch Series 3 with 3G. The reason I wanted this watch is because I have the Series 0 Apple Watch. After the Series 0, they came out with the Series 2. And they upgraded the Series 0 with a better processor. They call, now call it Series 1. Steve has a Series 1 that has a dual core processor. Okay, I'm really excited to open this. I've been wanting to open it since I bought it, but I've been holding out. This is for you guys, not for me. Sort of for me, but really it's for you guys. Oh, jeez. I swear they made the box a lot prettier. Touch my box, dude. Classic apple there. Got it. Ooh. Yay. It looks exactly the same, except it's got a... I don't think it looks exactly the same. Here. Yeah, there's a red dot. Wow. it's. You say it was a lot thicker, Steve. I don't know about that. You can't even tell the thickness difference. Yes, you Look can. at the difference. They got these cool rings around that. Can you... That's really nice. Bro. Oh. Yeah. Yours is thicker than mine. No, it isn't. Steve, you really can't tell the difference in thickness there. Maybe... Mine's a zero. Maybe series one is thinner? Oh, I guess you can't tell. You can't tell. Well, besides the heart rate monitoring, this watch, the day I got it, it's been the most amazing watch I've ever had. It, you, I could ch check my Wait, text messages. It's the only watch you've ever had. No, <laughs> only smart watch I've ever had. Okay. I've always wanted a smart watch. I, before the Apple Watch ever came out, I wanted a Pebble. I thought it was so cool, so interesting that you can just check your text messages on your watch. You don't have to take your phone out of your pocket every time. That was amazing to me. I wanted that really bad. I never bought one. I, I held out. I didn't have the money, whatever. Until the Apple Watch came out. As soon as it came out, I go, I need that watch. That is something I want. You can answer phone calls on it. You can check your text messages. It has Siri on it. it you control your music. I can plug my phone in at work, have it sitting on my toolbox, play music, and control it all on my watch. That is amazing. I love those features. The way it answers your phone. If, if I could be working on a car, my hand's dirty with hydraulic fluid or whatever, I can answer my phone without sticking my hand in my pocket, getting oil everywhere. I truly cannot live without an Apple Watch now. Dude, I, I've used some of the, you know, Android smartwatches. Like, what was that one I bought? That, that sucked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't do any, like, it does, technically all the same things as an Apple Watch. You can get you know, an Android smartwatch for a lot cheaper than an Apple Watch, and it technically does all the same things, but it sucks. I mean, it does it, yes, but it's not intuitive. It, it's slow. It, the UI sucks too. You can barely go through the menus without you know, going crazy. The Apple Watch is simple and it works. And the great thing about this one is it did take Apple until their third attempt on watches to get 3G. I did not get it specifically for the 3G. I might use it. I'll see how it goes, but I have read some pretty negative things about battery life on that, connectivity issues. Not looking forward to increasing my bill $10 a month just to have cellular connectivity on my watch. It doesn't seem worth it because I have my phone with me all the time anyway. There's not a time I don't I go out without my phone. Okay, let's power this thing on. Does it come with a charge? It does it? it Yay! Does. What's my Apple Watch app? Pair a new watch. Pair a new watch. Okay, we have to go through the setup here. It's paired. See? Store from backup. Another reason why Apple is better. So while we're waiting for it to set up, one of the really cool things with Apple Watch Series 3 versus all the other Apple Watches is that it's gonna be compatible with Apple's new charging pad. You can place the watch anywhere on the pad in any orientation, no matter where it is on the pad, it's going to charge. Not only that, if you have an iPhone 8, you can take it and set it anywhere you want on the pad as well, and it will charge both devices at the same time. 
if you have the new charging case for the AirPods, it would do that as well. Those so you can out. charge all three devices at the same time. You can charge all three devices at the same time and you can wow. set them anywhere you want on the pad. So those times where you set your phone on the charging pad and it's not charging and you thought it was charging, well, that those days are gonna kind of be gone with Apple's new charging pad that comes out December, something like that. The red digital crown. Apple did that not because it's the Series 3, but to indicate that it has 3G. Yep, everyone. Even if you spend the $1,200 on the, the ceramic one, you get an ugly red dot with your white just... ceramic watch. So you get this red ugly dot. Now on the space gray version, it doesn't look terrible. It does look tacky. Why do you have a red dot there? There is a company out there. What, what was it? Watch dots. The watch dots, they sell a sticker that you can get and put over that dot so you don't have to look at a red dot anymore or have it clash with whatever watch band you have. And that is terrible. That was a dumb idea. You have to change it to whatever color could, you could want. Could they not have put it on the back here and just have it say LTE? For a company that's so, so into design and aesthetics, I don't understand why they did that. Well, that's another thing. The bands. Get a stupid Android smartwatch. You can't change out the bands. Look how easy it is to change out the bands on an Apple watch. Uh, the one really cool feature about these Apple Watches since the Series 2 is that they have a feature where you get water in the speaker by swimming or whatever. It has a feature where you can press a button and it sends out these vibrations to eject the water out of the speaker. I love that feature. Even though it's not limited to this watch, it is on the older version, but it's a great feature. Okay, it's all ready to go. Let's check this out. Now the biggest thing from at least the Series 0 to the Series 3, it's a lot faster. Now what bugs me about my original watch, and even Steve's watch, is that when I swipe, it's a little bit laggy. Oh, the sucks. How is it on Series 3? It's actually really, it's just instant. Is it? I don't even know it's a delay. Try, try it out. Oh my God, that's so much better. Yeah, isn't it? That actually works! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Show everyone your tan line. No, no, we're Show not doing that. Show everyone your tan line. I it, love the watch. Right. I don't have ever you, take it off. Have you guys seen bad tan, tan uh, lines? <laughs> put your sunglasses on, guys. Wait, you, you had to take your watch off. Take it off. Uh, oh, it is off! Hey, watch it, Steve. Watch it. Oh, this is what I wanted it for, the heart rate. So let's just check this out. That is a lot faster. Jeez. It's already checking my rate. 56. <laughs> oh, it is. Um, am I gonna die? What are you at, 84? Can your heart rate even be that low? 52. Like, healthily be that low? <laughs> like, is that healthy? What are you at? Aren't we twins? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were twins. Ooh, at 92. at 54, consistent. See, this is Whoa, why- 93. Like, hey, 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 anything. let's do this. Well, what does my original one say? Are they consistent? Is this accurate? Wait, hold on a second. What? How's that? What? Put this on. <laughs> We're at three Apple Watches. Look, they're, they're consistent. Keep them all alive. Wait, what? What is happening to you? I don't know, why are they all different? Oh wait, they're, they're in the 50s, hold on. Oh, there we go, okay, okay. I'm just gonna walk down the street like this to see if anyone says anything. Oh, okay, they're they're all on the same page. 76 and 77. 77, 77. Uh, I don't, you know what? This says 87. I'm almost starting to think my original one is more accurate. Could that be? And you just wasted your money? <laughs> Why did I buy the new one if it's just as oh, good? Oh wait, look at that. They're all, they're all, all pretty good it's now. It's all over the place. No, no. No, they were though. My rate's all over the place. I've never seen anyone wear this many watches. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, well they're all, they're all pretty consistent, but I'm amazed how off each one could be. There you go. It's only one off, my new one. Is that more accurate or is that more accurate? Ah! This is a trifecta. All right, give me back my watch. Okay. <laughs> Look at my red dot. Look at my not red dot. I don't like the red dot. I really don't. I don't want people to know that I have a better watch than them. I can help you search the web for oh, wait, what? Did I just hear it? 
Wait, does Siri talk on these th on that one? Oh my god, Siri Whoa. actually talks to you on the Series 3. Well, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the speed of the watch. I do love the fact that it checks my heart rate. I think a little bit faster than my original one, but as you saw, the accuracy, questionable. We're not sure, I mean, all three watches, they're at different heart rates. I, I don't know which one's more accurate or not. Uh, that would have, someone had to perform tests for those, which Apple should have. Which Apple uh, should have. <laughs> Apple you, says that, they did. Wouldn't you think? <laughs> if you guys have an Apple Watch, please comment below. Let us know how it monitors your heart rate. Is it inconsistent or is your heart rate better than mine? Are you going to live? Am I going to die? Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Get all these comments like, bro, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm overall ple very pleased with the watch. I'm not sure how the battery life is. I'm told it was better. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the cellular off. And doesn't the cellular have a bigger battery than the non-cellular? No. no, I think they're the same. You think so? I thought they were the same. I'm gonna leave it off and see if it is because I love the battery life of my original Apple Watch. It lasts me all day and I still have 30% left at the end of the day. And my boss has the second generation Apple Watch. His watch still has 73% battery by the end of the day. This better have at least 70% battery by the end of the day if his second generation does that. Yeah, I usually have about around 70, something like that at the end of the day. You do? Yeah, your your Series oh. Zero is broken. Unless you really needed that LTE, I don't recommend upgrading from the Series 2 or maybe even the Series 1 to this Series 3. But if you have a Series Zero Apple Watch or you want to go swimming or you don't have an Apple Watch at all and you felt like going into the smartwatch game was a good idea, I recommend the Apple Watch because the Android ones we've tried they just suck. don't work that. <laughs> they just suck. <laughs> they don't work that great. They all suck. And it will turn you off, so don't do it. They suck. If you're if you're if you're thinking of saving money, they all suck. You have to spend the price of an Apple Watch or more to get one that's actually decent. Otherwise, you try they saving suck. money, you waste money. Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Don't drop it on tile, but Apple Watch. <laughs> don't be a moron, but Apple Watch.